hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a payment method to your facebook ad manager you're going to learn how you can be able to add a payment method to your meta ads manager so guys it's very easy just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to our youtube channel do well to like subscribe and leave a comment so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to go over to your meta ad manager so let me go over to my meta ads manager let me go back now let me tap on the meta ads manager app in case you've not installed or set up your meta ads manager i've already made a dedicated video on that just go over to the description of this video you're going to see the video link right there tap on it they'll be able to learn how to download install and set up your meta ads manager app so guys um you can see it's opening up let's just wait a few seconds so guys now you can see my meta ads manager has opened up right now so guys now the first step you have to take now in order to add the payment method is to choose the add account that you want to add the payment method to so you can do that by tapping on the settings icon at the top you can see it right there at the top left corner so let me tap on it so guys now you can see right here i have two ads accounts for some persons they might have more than two and you might be having just one it is cool so what you have to do now is to choose the ad account that you want to add the payment method to you can see i have two i can decide to choose the one below you can see I've chosen the one below but well, let me go back to the first one let me tap on it so guys now you can see i've selected the first one back again so now for me to be able to add a payment method to this ad account i have to tap on where it is written billing and payments so let me tap on it billing and payments so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where you can see payment methods you can see it right there it is written we haven't added any payment methods so now you have to tap on add payment method so let me tap on add payment method down there So guys, now these are the payment information. So guys, now you can see that we have different payment method. There are actually five of them. The first one is a debit or credit card. The second one there is pay by USD, USSD. The third one is Naira payment with Mastercard slash Visa. And the fourth one there is pay by bank transfer. While the last one is add credit. Guys, the one we're going to be going for is the third one, which is Naira payment with Mastercard slash Visa. So if you're a Nigerian, if you're from Nigeria, the third option is the most recommended option. That's the one you have to choose. Don't choose any other option. But if you're from other countries and you think other options are available for you, just go ahead to use it. But if you're a Nigerian, the third one is the most recommended so that your, um, your transactions on your Facebook ad account will be seamless. So you make sure you choose the third one if you're a Nigerian. And you can see that they have um, that logo just next to it, AU, you can see. Naira payments with Mastercard slash Visa pay you. You can see that pay you logo right there. You can see the pay you is the one processing the transaction. So make sure it's that one that you're choosing. So guys, let me go ahead now to choose it. The one that is written debit or credit card. The one at the top, the first one. That option is different from this Naira payment. Naira payment you're going to be paying with your Naira account, with your Nigerian account, with your Mastercard or Visa card. The only cards that are accepted is the Mastercard and Visa card. You can see it right there. So guys, let me go ahead now to select it. So guys now the next step i have to take now is to tap on next so let me go ahead now to tap on next but before i go ahead now to tap on next there's an important information down there you can see it, it is written your payment method are saved and stored securely so you don't need to be afraid of anything just go ahead now and select your payment method so let me tap on next real quick so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there amounts to add and you can see that by default 4500 has been added there it is by default but you can actually change it so let me tap on it now you can see you can actually edit it and edit it if you want so let me just simply just go 1000 2000 naira so let me tap on next you can see it's processing so guys now you can see it has directed us to the pay page on our chrome browser so what i can do now is to tap on continue you can see what's written there Please continue to complete your Naira payments with PayU. Please note that the payment page will open on a new window and it closes automatically at the completion of payment. Ensure no pop-up blockers is enabled. So let me tap on PayU. Let me read what is written down there. It says, PayU Nigeria is processing this payment on behalf of Facebook. PayU will appear on the confirmation or statement of the payment method you use to make this payment. So guys, let me go ahead now to tap on continue. So guys now you can see here's the next step this is where you have to add 
the details of your card the details of your debit card it must be a um a mastercard or a visa card so you guys can see what is written here they said we accept major credit cards including visa and mastercard the accepted payment options are provided above so guys now you can see um for nigerians you have to use your debit or mastercard or your debit visa card so guys now you can see the options um that, that are required for you to fill your card number your card number um is the 16 digit number in front of your card the long number right there it is actually 16 in number what you have to do is to go ahead now to input it there then the card holder name you have to input your full name the way it appears on your card or your bank you have to input it right there then for the expiry date the expiry date is usually the month and the year and the expiry date of your debit card which can be your master or your visa debit card the expiry date is usually at the front of your card for instance you might see 10 slash 25 that 10 means the month of October, Y25 means the year 2025. So that's what it means. So you have to impute the month right there on the left hand side and the year right there on the right hand side. Then after that, you're good to go. So let me go ahead now to impute all of the details, my card number, my holder name, month and expiry date. Let me go ahead now to do that real quick. So guys can see right there, immediately I was done imputing my card number, my card holder name and the expiry date. Another option popped out, you can see it right there, it is written CVV number. So let me tell you guys where you can find your CVV number. You can find your CVV number at the back of your debit card. So you have to turn towards the back of your card, you're going to see the number right there and it's usually a 3 digit number. Just type in the 3 digit number right there, you're going to find it at the back of your ATM card, at the back of your ATM debit card. So guys, let me go ahead now to impute mine real quick. So guys, now you can see I've added all my debit master or visa card details, you can see it right there. So what you can simply do now is to tick that circle right there at the top, you have to tick it, so let me tick it right away. So guys, now by doing this, now you've been able now to add um, your payment method. Um, if you want to proceed with the payment, you can go ahead now to tap on pay um, 2000 Naira. You can see it right there. Um, let me tap on it to show you guys how it's going to be. Let me tap on it and see guys, it's processing. It's processing. You can see what's written here. It says, save card. You will pay faster next time. Save your card. Encrypted security code and billing address in your Google account. So you can save on um, this your um, card details in your Google account. It will be safe right there. So let me tap on save so that when next you are coming back here to make any payment or add funds to your Facebook ad account or Meta ad manager, you won't have to impute your card details again. So let me tap on save right away. So guys, now you can see it's loading up. It's going to be saved in a few seconds. Well, guys, can see this card is saved in your Google account, so you can use it across all Google service. So let me tap on got it. So now the next step now is actually um to proceed with this payment. You can actually um you can see what's written there at the top. For added security, you will need to input a one-time passcode either sent to your mobile number generated by your physical token or via your secure pass app. Please select your desired option below. So now you can decide um to use tokens which will be sent through your secure pass app or or go for the second option which is otp sms the otp sms is the one i'm going to be going for so that the passcode can be sent to my um to my message can be sent to the number that is attached or connected to my bank account so let me tap on otp message right away you can see i selected otp message so let me tap on continue let me tap on write it you can see guys it's processing well guys you can see what is written here they say to continue with your transaction please enter your one-time passcode sent to your mobile number generated by your physical token or via your secure pass app so guys can see it right there that's the code it has been sent right away you can see it there so let me copy it right away so guys i've copied it so what i'll do now is to paste it right there you can see where it is written enter code so now let me tap on it to paste it real quick let me paste it so guys now you can see i've pasted the code now so what i have to do now is to tap on submit you can see the amount of transaction you can see the merchant the pay you that i said make sure you select um the payment method that has to do with your pay you and your um your debit card slash um naira payment um visa card or, the, or i said that earlier on so let me tap on submit now you can see what's written there so guys now you can see it's processing 
wow guys can see your transaction was successful so guys now by doing this now you've been able now to add funds um to your facebook ad account to your meta ads manager so guys now what you have to do now is to go back to your ads manager to see if actually it has reflected so you can see what is written here for successfully added your new balance will be reflected on your account you can now return to the ads manager app so guys now let me go back to the ads to the meta ads manager app to see if actually um they've upped or added up my balance so let me go back now i've seen that they've debited me uh, from my account my bank account so let me go back now to the meta ads um, manager let me go back remember uh, my balance was zero so let me open up my meta ads manager and let me tap on the settings icon again then let me tap on billing and payment wow guys can now see my balance now is now 2000 this is exactly the amount that i added to my um, to my ads manager this is that amount that i imputed right there you can see 2000 era so guys this guy can be able to add the payment method and at the same time add funds to your facebook ad accounts using the meta ads manager app see you in the next upload bye